A reading from Genesis chapter 2, 18 to 24. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from the soil the Lord God fashioned all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helpmate suitable for the man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and enclosed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 127. The response, may the Lord bless us all the days of our life. O blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands, you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion in a happy Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. On Israel, peace. May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. The second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. We see in Jesus one who was for a short while made lower than the angels and is now crowned with glory and splendor because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. As it was his purpose to bring a great many of his sons and daughters into glory, it was appropriate that God for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists should make perfect through suffering the leader who would take them to their salvation. For the one who sanctifies and the ones who are sanctified are of the same stock. That is why he openly calls them brothers and sisters. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He answered them, What did Moses command you? Moses allowed us, they said, to draw up a writ of dismissal. 
and so divorce. Then Jesus said to them, It was because you were so unteachable that he wrote this command for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. This is why a man must leave father and mother and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then, what God has united, man must not divide. Back in the house, the disciples questioned him again about this. And he said to them, The man who divorces his wife and marries another is guilty of adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband and marries another, she is guilty of adultery too. People were bringing little children to him for him to touch them. The disciples turned them away. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and he said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I tell you solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Then he put his arms around them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.